Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your February love reading. Over energy we have, is it safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all? Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Unrequited love, Pisces, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So, two different scenarios, Pisces. For some of you, you're going to find your soulmate and you're going to question is it safe for you to open your heart where well, the answer is yes why because this is your soulmate that um the other half of you are going through separation or will be separated for the month of february why because there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i feel like someone regrets how they treated you they're yearning for you they know that you're their soulmate and they're trying to figure out if they want to open their heart. Just picked up a third scenario. <laughs> so a lot of different things are going on Pisces for the month of February. February. We, we are in, um, about to start Mercury retrograde at the end of January. We are in a full moon in Leo. So a lot of things are about to come out. We have the two of pentacles here with this king of wands. So I wanted to fly out as I was shuffling. And this person is trying to take action towards you. But... They don't know how to come correct here because we do have the Six of Pentacles. Someone was definitely taking advantage of you and now they see that. They could have just put finances first, but we have two kings here that they were code. Or you could be dealing with two people for the month of February, Pisces, in a love triangle. Someone that you're attraction to, the passion is there, but then you're also attracted to someone because of um, how intelligent they are or, you know... Um, the other person could be a narcissist, I'm just saying that, because we do have that king of swords coming up, and usually the person could be playing mind games sometimes when that comes up. <laughs> but you're showing up as the queen of pentacles, um, Pisces. Yeah, this person doesn't feel like they have enough for you. The king of swords wanted to fly back out with the eight of wands. They're going to talk to you about this, or they're going to talk about how cold they were, you know, which is why you probably feel like, you know, this is unrequited love. Because this person hasn't been showing you emotionally. Um, why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, the Five of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, I feel like in the past, was unsure with what they wanted. And now it's like they realize they want you. Or you, if this is a soulmate situation, they feel like um, they're going to meet you in a business setting. I don't know, in an event, a convention, something like that. But we have, I was trying to shuffle for the Six of Pentacles, and this came out. We have the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So we have all this air energy, commanding with the Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this person is going back and forth. They want to come in really fast, fight for what they want, which is you. But I feel like there was some communication here, some arguments that um, you don't know, or they don't know if you're going to want to take them back. Because we do have that Ten of Swords energy, you know, very cold, um, very painful ending, but look at this page of cups. Um, they could have a child, that could also be the case, um, which is why they kind of put you on the back burner for some of you Pisces, but they don't they don't want to give up here this Nine of Wands energy in reverse. I feel like that's why that separation is there, the ones that are going to go through a separation. It's just too much arguing, um, and it's it's time to take a break. It's what I'm getting clarified. Um, this Emperor in reverse, because this is Aries energy. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. The truth is going to come out for you, Pisces, in regards to love. Um, I feel like this person was very prideful, and they didn't think you were going to walk away. <laughs> the Six of Swords energy. And, and it's like you did. And now it's like when no one walks away from me, the Ace of Cups in reverse. I mean, Eight of Cups in reverse. You know, I, I want a second chance. Like, their ego is damaged <laughs> from... Um, from you leaving them, from you literally falling all the way back with this hermit energy. With completely with the Virgo Pisces, but they don't want you to walk away, which is why this Eight of Cups is in reverse, and they're gonna come after you. What does the Six of Swords wanna say? Yeah, Chariot Energy Cancer, I'm coming forward. You know, you make me happy, you make me feel strong, Leo energy. Yeah, and they're thinking about the past and what you guys had. Look at that, King of Pentacles. Yeah, soulmate energy for sure, because we do have this Queen of Pentacles showing up. I feel like this person just wants to be on your level in a financial sense. You could be the one doing good financially, and this person is just working hard trying to catch up. But the Seven of Cups here, they are going to make a choice. Oh, the Seven of Cups here, yeah. For some of them, they were with someone, and they're going to become single with this Nine of Pentacles and the world in reverse. 
it's just um they're trying to figure out how to win you back before they um figure out anything else right now because we do have that empress energy we have the emperor in reverse this could be twin flame so many energy take it how it resonates but it's like the delusion has shattered with that seven of cups and, and they're no longer in a stagnant state with the hangman in reverse yeah ten of cups wow <laughs> They want happiness with you. They, I feel like they're falling in love with you. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they definitely are. The Tower of Judgment and... What? Oh, this is the <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm like, why does it look like that? Um, Yeah, they're going through a major tower moment. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups with the Judgment and Tower. So... They are going through a really karmic lesson right now. A, what does that mean? A really karmic lesson. <laughs> a really big karmic lesson where the judgment and tower comes out with the hangman in reverse. Whatever they're holding on to, it is going to get um, released uh, for some in a dramatic way. This could be this person. If they were married, they're getting a divorce. This person is taking all their money, you know, alimony, child support, something like that, but their happiness is with the you, Pisces. It's like, whatever, like, I see this is why, you know, they were in this two of pentacles, six of pentacles energy, because they're working hard trying to become single for some of you here, or this could be your soulmate, you know, they're getting out of a crazy dramatic situation, and then they're going to run into you and find their happiness, right? Then you're going to wonder if it's safe to open your heart with this person. Um, please do. Because this tower moment, you're not going to see it coming, Pisces. <laughs> yeah. Five of Wands. You're not going to see it coming. I feel like this person, you get, this person could come back. You guys might have a few words to say how things didn't manifest the way you wanted to. How you wanted this person and they're just going to come right out, you know. And just <laughs> be in. They're going to soup to... How your energy is. So if you're um, argumentative, they're going to be argumentative. So we have the five of wands and the seven of wands. I just wanted to point that out. Because I'm still digging deep into this tower moment. Um, this person is really trying to fight off um, any interferences that's going to hinder your connection. But look at that. They're still tending to this. Yeah, page of wands. So after they're done dealing with this and the universe is going to push them out, this is when they're going to come in with movement. Yeah, but until then, they're going to stay stuck. So this could be a divine masculine trying to get out of a karmic situation and shit is going to hit the fan. I'm not surprised that judgment and the tower card is here because we are going through Mercury retrograde and the full moon in Leo. You know, it's a lot of energy that we're purging out. Yeah, nine of wands again. This person regrets not putting you first for some of you. This is why the separation is happening. Unrequited love. We have a curious energy because they didn't realize what they had until they lost it. Yeah. Yep, they didn't realize what they had. Yeah, two of wands, nine of cups in reverse with the ace of wands. And now look at this. They want this new beginning with you. <laughs> They're disappointed. And you know what? It's kind of like all or, or do or die, like all or never at this point. Because right now, it's like you can just say yes or no, but they're trying to clear out all this drama that's in between you guys. So when you have questions that you need answers to, they're going to come in and answer everything because we have the lovers here with Gemini. Look at this Ace of Wands in reverse. For some of you, the passion is gone. It's, it's going to be gone for the month of um, February. And yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, whoever this person was with, um, it's going to end. It's definitely, yeah. Three of Swords in reverse. Now I see why you're pulling back, Pisces. Definitely was a third party involved with the Three of Swords, but they are trying to clear that out. But you just saw all that drama. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, Judgment Tower, Eight of Wands. They could be fighting over a child um, child support, like I said. But with King of Cups energy, you completely took your emotions away from this person, and they have to step it up. You know, They have to figure out how to get that Ten of Cups with you, wherever it is. Yeah. They have to figure out how to get this with you because you're no longer um, making moves. Yeah. Because this person was sneaky in the past. Yeah, exactly. Two of cups. There you go. <laughs> but they got to they gotta nip this shit in the butt if they want to be with you. And good job for holding your ground. Yeah, five of pentacles. Definitely trying to get out of a family situation. Just going to put some twin flame cards and see what this person wants to say. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> wants to say to you. I will make things right between us one day. Exactly. I don't think I can take your reactions right now. 
just know that you are never far from my mind and they're working on this exactly pisces all right i'm gonna leave it there pisces i mean this person is going to take steps to get to you but until they get out of the situation they're, just, they're gonna be stuck and i feel like for the month of february you know this is their time to get through all this drama you know and at I'm getting between like March and April because we do have the emperor here that this person might be able to clear all of this out, all right? Or eight weeks from now. All right, Pisces, let me know if this resonated. Thank you so much for the support.